the No Fate channel, checking in. On this episode of the Supplement Review, I'm discussing and we're going to go over how much is too much when it comes to supplementation. And I'm always curious, comment below, which supplements are you currently taking? I'm going to dive into that and I'm going to do a full review of Huge Nutrition's Arachnidone. If this happens to be your first time to the channel, you are in luck. You can give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button and then we can be best friends. But on this supplement review series, I just review a supplement on every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard earned money. Huge Nutrition, I reviewed their pre-workout, which I loved, their pre-extreme, which I loved. I reviewed their glucose disposal agent, which was very good. I also reviewed their protein, which I liked, and a few of their other products, which definitely hit the mark. This is Arachnidone. It is an enhanced muscle pumps. It is going to increase peak power enhanced muscle pumps and promotes lean mass 90 capsules one serving is three pills and one serving is going to be 1.5 grams of arachnidonic acid wow that sounds awesome it sounds almost too good to be true so first and foremost i think huge nutrition is getting themselves into the state where a lot of supplement companies are where they're trying to just do too much now i like this company i got a coupon code no fake 24 7. i have recommended a number of their products and arachnidone is one of those products that comes out where a supplement industry grabs on to one research study and runs with it and i don't mean run with it a little bit i'm talking about like forrest gump tom hanks they're just running with it across america and arachnidone or arach arachnidonic acid there are a number of studies out on arachnidonic acid the majority of them show that there are no beneficial effects on taking this product, whether it's pre-workout or post-workout, no effects on strength, muscle size, lean muscle mass, any of that stuff. And there is one study, and out of all the studies, there's one that shows this product is going to give you leaner mass, more strength. Unfortunately, when you dive down into the depth of that study, you will find that it was funded by the supplement industry, number one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but number two, it wasn't a very good study. They did not calculate people's caloric intake. They didn't regulate a lot of the, 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 the fundamentals that you would wanna regulate when trying to set up a baseline for increased muscle mass, increased strength, all of those things. So because it's a poor study, you really can't count it, although, although most of the supplement industry, when they are promoting arachnidonic acid, will use that study and only that study to tell you that this is the best stuff on earth. I want to read off the suggested use on here and I want you to tell me if this throws up any red flags. Okay, suggested use as a dietary supplement, take three to four capsules. Now keep in mind the, the serving size is three capsules, three to four capsules before weight training or any time of the day. Okay, so, so clearly they're telling you to take as many capsules as you want, whenever you want, and they're gonna tell you all these great things that it's going to do for you, promote lean mass, muscle pumps, peak and power, and unfortunately that's where the supplement industry gets a bad name because they promise you the world knowing full well that you're not gonna get anywhere close to that. And I know huge nutrition can do better. Why? Because they have done better. They've got some stellar products, but so many supplement companies feel like they just can't have four or five awesome products. They gotta have a whole litany of stuff. And I really think they're chasing the hype on this one to sell this to you. Um, I know Huge Nutrition can do better and I'm a big fan of that company. I just wish they would kind of sell you on the steak and not the sizzle. And this is definitely all sizzle and no steak. I wanna talk about my use because I did use this. I said, hey, let me put this to the test. See if I physically noticed a difference. So I've used half a bottle, 15 servings. I used three pill pills for four workouts on every workout for 15 days in a row, and I've noticed nothing. Gats, absolutely zero, zilch, squat. So um, if I didn't see a notice in two weeks, I mean, the argument could then be, oh, you need to take it for a month or two months. And unfortunately, I think that's another selling ploy on supplement companies where they'll tell you that the effects kick in after a month or two making you buy a bottle or two of this stuff before you realize you got sold some snake oil. So let's talk about less is more. Now as a supplement reviewer, it's kind of funny that I'm telling you that you should be taking less to get more. I'm a big fan of Pareto's principle. And even though I do have 500 supplement reviews, 
I am a big believer and a big fan and a big proponent of telling you, take the products that work, take the products that are co completely and 100% in line with what you are shooting for with your goals and avoid some of the stuff that doesn't have clear cut research behind it or clear benefits that are going to be in line with where you're going. So for me, I think as just as a standard, you should be taking an excellent, excellent, excellent multivitamin. I think that's the one thing people overlook. And I understand if you're on a budget, you want to get a budget multivitamin. But if you're not on a budget or if you're just willing to put up, pony up a little bit extra money, you should be targeting an excellent multivitamin. As far as protein, ideally, you're going to get all your protein in from your food. Now, that's easier said than done, getting a wide variety of really good lean proteins in. So if you're having a difficult time getting your proteins in or even getting them in with lean meats, which is difficult and can be expensive, definitely go out and get yourself a high quality protein and do as many scoops as you think you need. I would argue if you're doing more than two or even three scoops a day, you probably got an issue with your nutrition and you don't need three scoops of protein in a day. Pre-workouts. Now I absolutely love my pre-workouts, but you don't need them. In fact, when you started lifting, probably for the first two years, you didn't even know what a pre-workout was. As far as pre-workouts, if you enjoy them, use them, but just know full well it's not something you should need to get in a hard, great training session. I would argue and I would push and promote having you get yourself a hydration drink. Now, not the Gatorade type crap you see out there. There's a number of great rehydration or hydration or intra-workout products that are all kind of doing the same thing. They are replenishing those minerals and the, the salts that you're just sweating out during those really tough workouts. And it ends up making you feel better, at least in my experience, during your workout and post-workout in terms of if you've ever kind of had those super hard workouts and then like an hour later you just crash that helps you prevent that crash in terms of your body feeling Ugh. overall i don't think you need as many supplements as the supplement industry is trying to sell you and i really want you to stay away from stuff like this that is not scientifically proven even on like a good day it's not scientifically proven i don't want you to waste your money i want you to spend your money where it counts and take the stuff in your body that you actually need and that's actually going to get you the best results for your buck for your bang head over to hugesupplements.com check out their website because they do have some fun stuff on there that does work um code is no fate 24 7. if you shop on amazon click on the amazon link in the description it does help me out it does help support the channel and it helps keep the lights on as usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.